Let's talk about Rocket League. Dude. The game that keeps on giving. Yeah, man, especially this time around. I know. Hoops. So basketball, Hoops. basically, uh, has been brought to the, the world of uh, speedy, um, dinky race cars. The ice hockey update, I feel like, it was what, back in November or something? Mm-hmm. It was like a little bit. And that was kind of fun. It was like a nice well, snow change day. Up. Yeah, it was like, ah, oh, Christmas theme, whatever. I like to throw it in there. Kind of yeah. Never really play it. This is like a dedicated group of people who seem to always be playing it. Yeah. Like, I never really jump in there. This, on the other hand, this like totally changes the game. This, yeah. This is great. It's really great. And I, it makes me really excited because it's, it's you know, I think we all go on a, like, a little bit with wins of like when we're going to when we're gonna play a lot of Rocket League, maybe, yeah. maybe take a break, play something else. This time, it's like 110%. I want to play this like all damn day. Yeah, I played like four hours last night yeah. for the first time. Like, really? I kind of play like every, like, I feel like I play like 30 minutes every day. Yeah. Or 30 minutes every two days. Something like Cash, that. yeah. But this was like all in. So let's talk about the, the details, I guess. Uh, cool. Mike, you played a bunch of this as well, right? Yeah. All right, so this is 2v2 predominantly. Um, Online, 2v2. Yeah, yeah you can do 4v4, like just private match if you want to. That gets, just like it does in soccer, it gets kind of hectic. Yeah. Yeah. All over and also place. more dangerous, though, just because the ball, like anytime it's in the air, you're kind of shitting your pants. Mm. I've, I imagine in 4v4 stuff, it's probably a bit more like chaotic the goals like the goals just come from nowhere from like a rebound that came from nowhere i don't did we even try for before yeah i don't think we did we did toward the end because we had before like people left the office and it was just 3v3 and it was just pretty much the corner game in uh hoops now is really important because you can get those layup goals or the bank goals and just people just collide left and right in the corners now like mainly my own teammates but I could feel like it was great. It was at the, it was like playing Rocket League week one again where nobody knows what to do. So yeah. everyone's kind of like rushing into the corners and stuff like that. Now I don't even bother. Now yeah. it's like unless I get that shot off the corner where it bounces and goes in, it's like there's no point in, in jumping in there unless you're getting boost. So I guess like the first couple of hours was like, how does this work? How do you score? What is the best way of like centering? What is the best way? Rob, what have you sort of, what's your takeaway after playing this for, for a day and change of like, the new tactics that you kind of need to use in, sure. in this one. Yeah, no longer I feel are you slamming this ball as hard as you can. Yeah. Uh, because all that's going to do is shoot the ball and ricochet back onto your side. Mm. So you're taking your time uh, and more or less, and 2v2, I think they really know this, because 2v2 works so well because you're really just playing off your one other teammate. Mm. You're, one of you is just simply trying to pop the ball up and then the other one's trying to slam dunk. Yeah. So you... And when it comes to also dunking and, and popping it up, is you really have to feather it. Again, you, you are not hitting this ball like with all your might. You're just kind of a little tap little it. flip, tap, yeah. tap, tap it yeah. in. <laughs> Get it up, and then someone else will... Uh, yeah, just slam dunk that thing. Because um, yeah, it's too hard to get the dunk if the ball is flying around at speed in the air. Yeah. So you're just not really doing yourself any favors. Yeah, absolutely. So in, in that respect, it's very much an aerial game. You're trying to get uh, that... That fl- that pop fly before anyone else, mm. um, but yeah, like it, again, I mean, this has always kind of been with Rocket League too. Is you're not like both rushing the ball. Like I, I was even playing. I think also forty four is really frustrating because this map size yes. isn't spectacularly large, right? No. It's not. If, if anything, it's, it might be even shorter than most. I think it is. Or I smaller. think it's, it feels like it's a bit, uh, maybe. Maybe it's like eighty percent or seventy percent the size of a right. regular field or something. But yeah, there's something about the the ball feels like it moves differently too. Like yeah, it's got a bit more you could pop. Say that. Definitely it feels floatier. Yeah, um, yeah floatier. I at first like when we all played in the office, we we're like, this. I wish this was bigger, the arena. But the more I played, I played a little bit last night, not as much as I'd like to after work mm. um, or after we all left the office. And I'm actually, I think the size is really good. I mean, if it was bigger, you would score so much less frequently yeah totally because it's such a it's such a concentrated goal because i mean the goals themselves weren't huge in soccer and yeah. now now there's just so many like less chances of going in because it's this hovering you know target uh, some great little touches as well they're adding the this is obviously a free update for everyone who's got rocket league they're adding the dlc nba uh, flags which i think is every single team in the tournament i thought it, sorry in, in the nba to pay 30, for that. 30 teams. Right. I think you have to pay for those flags. Yes, you have to pay for those. Okay. Sorry, yeah, yeah. That's, that's called, the only part. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's paid for DLC. Um, but there's like they did a really good job of like um, adding nice little touches to this. Oh, like, the, the statics and the like the squeaks on yeah. the floor is spectacular. So awesome. Like landing after a, a layup or anything like that. Like mm. <laughs> <laughs> your, your handbrake slide and getting ready for any kind of set. Yeah, it's. It's really fun. Even even the sound effect on the um, the rim of the hoop oh, yeah? is really great. Yeah, it, like I could just confidently say it's like a plastic with like a little bit of rattling like metal inside it. Like yeah, it sounds really 
full. I, like I when love you, when that. When you pop it off, it kind of yeah. Like, yeah. I also really like that whenever the ball is hovering above the target zone, it'll glow like orange yes. or blue. And so it helps you know when when it's still like in danger of when you need to save it or when you could possibly go up for a dunk because like it's floating over your blue, it's floating over the other goal. And it's it's not gonna be binary orange. either. It 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 grows more blue or orange the closer yeah. you are. Mm-hmm. And then when it's almost there, it's sort of it, it's almost like pulsating. Which I hate. And then it's, <laughs> I think does it go completely colored when it's when it's definitely I think, yeah, going I in think, or something? Yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah, like the primary tone of it I think definitely like shifts to that. But um yeah if we can talk about man, if you're playing defense and you see the thing <laughs> and it is you know you're looking up and you know, prior to Rocket League, you, you basically get like a 180 opportunity, right? Yeah. If, if this ball's coming down from the top, all you got to do is just hit it in a general direction against the wall and you're good. It's going to head jump back down up. the field. Yeah, yeah, just jump up. Here, you got like a 360 degree. And so your car, you know, you're like, <laughs> like we were <laughs> swearing. I, especially, was swearing so often because you just, you, you can't find the right angle. Hmm. Uh, and you of course, you want to like, you want to uh, hit an aerial and go straight up, but or like not not directly up because then it's got to come straight back down again as well. Sometimes you need right. to like like just gotta go uh, like hit right. it. It's so it's I I want to go back to playing the regular soccer modes just to be like see all the terrible things that I've learned from playing this basketball version. Yeah, because it totally changes how you get into it and the tip offs. Then they're all completely different too. Yeah, right. The tip offs. Uh, I think we mentioned a little bit earlier when we were talking, Danny. Is it's kind of cool because if, if this were to come out you know, two months uh, after Rocket League mm. where people are were like definitely still learning how to do the aerial moves. <laughs> yeah. I think kickoffs uh, or yeah, tip-offs for this would just been so frustrating, but you have to have a somewhat decent aerial player yeah. to hit it first because if you don't hit it first and something the other team does, it's going to go in. Yeah, like, now, now, now they've gotten to the stage where like give them six hours and now everyone's like, okay, I can score from a right. tip-off. Well, uh, cause, yeah, because yeah, two things, like if this had come out two months after release, Pete Brown would have gotten like destroyed but <laughs> yesterday he was the one like on the tip off he got the most aces out of any of us he oh, had really? the aerial like down pat and he was just that perfect angle where you kind of tip chris waters is saying like or no you were saying you have to kind of hit it with the windshield to get that, the right that's angle that's the way i had it yeah, yeah. there's probably like a load of different ways you can do it he was nailing it every time and then one thing rob got really good at which reminded me of how like actual basketball is played mm. is when it's like rolling off the rim rob had the aerial like angled down so he would kind of just give it the tip back in on the oh, rebound Oh, nice yeah like a double tap <laughs> yeah it's so satisfying when it works out yeah yeah. Uh, you can do all this stuff as well in, in um, exhibition modes. You can do it with bots, although the bots do not know what the hell's going on. Super funny. <laughs> I mean, whoever plays exhibition mode, you know, like I just did just to practice. There, there's a bot there. They'll just drive into so, each other. It's so the same. It, it's like <laughs> it's super funny. They just weren't ever programmed to <laughs> jump on <laughs> on the beginning of a round, so they all just collide. Yeah, it's great. And when you, uh, I was doing one on one with it as well, and the other bot was just basically sitting in the net. Like whenever I went in, they're half, as if they're standing on the goal line, I think. So it's good to like, you know, learn a bit of fundamentals or, you know, just practice a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's great though. Uh, last point on this, I guess, is some nice little sort of quality of life fixes as well. They've they've put in like uh, the ability to save replays, kind of like quick save, like hot save yeah. or something. So during a match, you can, um, I think you just hit like for PlayStation 4, you know, it's just like your general touchpad. You mm-hmm. hit that and it'll, it'll, a message will pop and it'll be like, oh, we are going to automatically save this replay for you because you want that. Um, and then the other option is after your uh, match ends, uh, a message comes up and it's like, what do you want to name this? Which is right. really great if you eventually, you should, like, <laughs> like me at least. You called one like Chris Eats Shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you end up with like this massive list of them. It's or, just, yeah. you know, you know, all oh, this is like June 5th <laughs> where you lost <laughs> yeah. two to one. It's like, I don't remember that. Um, and, and, so, and am I right in saying that the ca- new camera, the like the little pop soon on the replay, is new as well? Oh, that's so I great! Love that. Well, that's just so reminiscent of an actual. You know, like, I mean, I guess any kind of sports yeah. uh, uh, stream, but it, it it just reminds me exactly of basketball. You know, after a three, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. like I always do the car backwards, <laughs> yeah. going back yeah. to my side. I do the flip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it only fantastic. in basketball? No, I mean, I guess... No, no, no. I mean, have they only put it in the basketball Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely new. It's, no, but it, has anyone gone... I actually played soccer yet. Oh, since oh, the update. In, oh I don't right. Know if they, added that if they the, did or not. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's so lame that both of us were like doing that. Like, well, that's like showboaty. I guess that's basketball, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, th- well walking... I think like walking the- backwards, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, to your, to your side of the court. That's good stuff. Yeah, I like fun. it. Uh, all right. There you go. That's it. It's free. It's available for everyone now. They were kind of rolling it out last night over all the platforms and whatnot. Yeah. Um, if you have this on Xbox One or <laughs> PS4 yes. or PC. Yeah.